Welcome back everybody, my name is Gnome Lord, and as you guys can see today, we're going to be playing some Saints Row 4. So as you guys may have seen in my last video, I played Saints Row the 3rd, which of course is the 3rd game in the series. And I uh, beat that, completed it all good and well, and now here we are with Saints Row 4. Now, when it comes to the Saints series, this is definitely and undoubtedly the wackiest uh in the series so far, mainly because you get superpowers. Now, as you may see, the whole world in general will flicker here and there and like phase in and out, crackle a little bit. And that's because the explanation to our superpowers is that we're in a simulation. So, thanks to being in the simulation, we can do things such as that scale buildings or run right up the side of them so we've got some pretty nifty and cool uh, abilities to work with today basically we're probably just gonna play around a lot this episode maybe do a couple missions you won't really you won't really know that we're doing missions though because I'm gonna probably try and cut it up and edit it good and well but that all being said let's hop on into the world of uh, Steelport and see what we can accomplish today they're flying down here right now to like the more colorful looking part of town what I think I'm going to do is uh, I've got a lot of cool weapons I want to show off to you guys, I've got a lot of cool powers, and I'm sure anyone who has not seen Saints Row 4, um, who has any type of interest in superhero type open world free roam games, this is a really, really cool one. This is basically if you took a, uh, uh, maybe prototype the game and mixed it with, uh, some Grand Theft Auto type, uh, you know, famous and popular type genre feel to it. So we can, uh, we have a whole slew of weapons to work with here. Let's see, we can dual wield these two, uh... SMGs, you know, do what you gotta do, shoot who you gotta shoot, though I don't know if we're supposed to be a superhero or not, but we can uh, do a little bit of showboating here to show people how strong we are, let the cops come after us, and then we simply walk on over to them, and give them a nice little pop, oof, oof, right in the crotch, if we want to get a little bit more extreme, really take the cops down, ah, uh, whew, that was nice. You can't really go wrong with that. So as you guys can see here, I'm currently wielding what is called the dubstep gun. Now, I don't know how popular dubstep is nowadays still. I don't necessarily listen to it as much, but it is the first example of uh, many songs you can play from this weapon. And by playing dubstep, you pretty much can blow people up all around you. So as an example, let's go right into it. Ooh. Not only does it blast dubstep beams, but you can see, people all around will start to dance. Even when you shoot them down, they might rewind as well. Whew. Jesus. So there you have it. That was the dubstep gun. There's a couple more uh, versions of it that I'll show off to you guys in a couple minutes. But let's see if we can... Uh, you can see here we have telepathic abilities. We can pit people, pick people up, chuck them at the walls, do what we gotta do. But on top of that... As you can see on the right, you can change the element to your ability. So we were just using, I believe it was force. If we change it to something like, uh, we'll go with lightning. Lightning is a good example. And then if we pick someone up or something, arcs of lightning will explode from what we're carrying and shock into everything around us. It's a really, really nice little, uh, little feature. Let's see, we'll give you another example. We have life stealing. So my health is going down now. So if I just, oop, if I just carry these people just by holding them in my hands, my health depletes from them, or their health depletes from them into my own health bar, so it's very useful. And last but not least, we have this awesome explosive one, which basically any car or human I pick up turns into an explosive, as you can see. Woo-wee! Very cool. Oh my god, those guys are glitching out. Quite literally, things can glitch out physically before your eyes. Let me see if we can give you a better example of that. This is the mind control blast ability, and by using that... Not only would they phase out, they'll get all rainbowy and whatnot, meaning they're working for us at the time. It's really cool, to be honest, but it's... Holy shit, does it look glitchy as hell. It looks like Necromorph from Dead Space. Look at that. Oh my god. Holy shit. Alright, so we're gonna hop in the weapon store here. I wanna show you guys uh, some of the more zanier weapons that showed up with Saints Row 4. So before I run into the weapon store, unfortunately I've got a lot of notoriety on me right now, and the only way to clear it is by hunting down these golden creatures here and uh, this is undoubtedly a reference to Harry Potter in that you need to catch the golden snitch 
in order to get all the police uh, notoriety off of you. It's really fun, to be honest. Okay, so here we are inside. I'm going to show you all the cool uh, special weapons we have first, because these are definitely going to be the most unique. Now, we have the sniper rifle here, and uh, I don't—I haven't actually purchased one yet, so we're probably not even going to use it. But to be honest, the sniper rifle is just a sniper rifle, not that fun. Now, this is the abduction gun, and it's exactly what it sounds like. When you fire it at something, a, uh, a UFO beam will shoot down on the location you have fired at and suck up anything in the area. So this is a really cool little unique gun, not something I've seen in many games before, maybe like of course alien theme games but this is more of a superpower style game so well i don't know there's aliens but nevertheless let's move on we have the murica gun and this is basically every you know general category of weaponry uh and you know gun in general in one weapon so it's a flamethrower a sword bayonet or rather a, a dagger bayonet there's a flamethrower a shotgun a assault rifle everything you might ever want in one weapon is built into this thing and it is quite powerful and ridiculous i'll probably show you guys this in a little bit this is a laser gun arm, and what this does is basically shoots lasers to the left and right. I don't really like it too much, but, you know, some people might enjoy it. We have here the dubstep gun, as you guys have seen. Now, what's interesting about this game is that just by simply customizing the skin of a certain object, you can get an entirely different result. So, by changing the skin of this, we're actually going to get a different song. I'll show you that example right now, real quick. Okay, so here we are with our reskin dubstep gun. And what we're going to do real quick is just fire it off. And I'll show you just by reskinning it, we have an entirely different song that'll play from it now. Yeah. This one is like, it feels really cool to kill people to this song specifically. It feels like the type of song, you know, you would get into combat with. So I, I like that one a lot. But of course, now we have Nortority on us again, so let me go get rid of that. Okay, so we're back in the gun store now, and if you hop over here, this is the uh, Dubstep Gun DLC Remix. Now, this one really switches it up, and of course, as it says, it's DLC, so you don't un unfortunately can't get this through any other means, but if you buy, like, the Saints Row Ultimate Edition for, like, maybe 10 bucks, you will get everything anyway. So, that all being said, you can see in here we have uh, some actually really interesting songs to play. We have Classical, we have Oktoberfest, we have Death Metal, and we have Swing Time. Now, Swing Time is my favorite because I just like that era of music. But I'll play them all for you starting from classic and I'll just go one by one skip to them through the uh, the video editing process all that good stuff for you guys Okay, so we have the classical gun now and let's give it a try Woo! That's exactly the song. I think most of us could probably have, have uh, Wanted and enjoyed from this kind of in instrument Woo! Got him it's okay. It's not. It's definitely not the best of the guns, just because this classical music doesn't have as many beats to it, of course, and thus it's not going to be firing as strong. But let's try out some of the other weaponry and see what we can get. Okay, so this is the Oktoberfest edition, and uh, for anyone who's not aware, I don't know, most people should be aware, but Oktoberfest is usually a German, uh, popular German holiday, and uh, as a result. There is a lot of like cheery, happy drinking music with a very uh, German style theme to it. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and fire it off. This is definitely one of the funnier guns to use. <laughs> Woo! Folks, better take me serious. More beasts to this one, so you can fire it more, of course. But there we have it. That one works pretty well. I actually like that one. But let's go grab the uh, the death metal one and see how that one works out. All right, here we are. Death metal. It looks really cool. Uh oh. Oh, uh, just in time too. We got the police on us. So let's show the police uh, a little bit of musical hospitality, shall we? Oh yeah. This is it. I like this one. This is really tough. All right, all right, one left. We got one left, and I think that is the uh, my favorite one, the swing time one. Here we are. It doesn't look too cool necessarily, but if you're like me and into swing time, then this is a great one. I, I love this one. It's really cool. Oh shit, we're not getting out of here without a fight. Oh, I guess we are. <laughs> all right, here we go. Let's fire off the swing time gun. Come 
Come on, get him. Oh, man. It's not doing too much, unfortunately, at least. Though, I, I should, probably should have gotten rid of my Notoriety before. I'm starting to remember now that I don't think I actually, like, upgraded the DLC version, so that would explain exactly why it wasn't working as successful as the other one. Okay, so last but not least in my uh, little collection of special weapons, we have the Knife Thrower. So... The knife thrower itself is exactly what it sounds like. It's a huge uh, turret style weapon that chucks knives. So we'll go ahead and give you the example of that. And uh, this is a throwback to Johnny Gat for anyone who may or may not be familiar with the game. It depends on whether or not you've played this uh, Saints series before. But that all being said, this is a very brutal weapon. You know, like seeing something like this, this is definitely something worth using if you ever had one of these. So as you can see here, people. You gotta get it spinning, and then you just fire knives into people. That that's so painful sounding. If you don't, you know, like there's really no question about it. People hate guns, but people are more afraid of knives. So the fact that you've been able to combine the two into one weapon is really just a a rather horrifying concept, if I do say so myself. It, it works for the best. We can also do this cool little. I have a blast with uh, explosive blast. Let's try that out. This is very devastating. Okay, so what happens basically is when you get hit by the explosive blast, you end up, wait, yeah, right in your chest cavity. All right. When you hit someone with the explosive blast, what it does is blows them up immediately, and anyone who gets hit by that blast also blows up, and it's basically just a chain reaction that keeps going and going, so that's a very devastating power. Uh, let's actually, we're going to go try out some more weapons. I want to show you guys the Murica gun, because I actually have upgraded that one, and that's a very, very cool one. Now, as you guys can see, I have a really high notoriety right now, and originally I was going to get rid of that, but what I've decided to do is I want to show you how powerful the Murica gun is by using it on what is essentially a mini-boss to some extent. Now, when you raise your notoriety to about six bars, which is, of course, like six stars in any other game, uh, you basically get a something called a Guardian, I believe it is, that will show up and more or less attempt to kill you and nothing else will show up at that because of how powerful he is so no other police will be in the area as long as the guardian is around because it's assumed that the guardian is strong enough to kill you so that all being said let's climb up this building right here someone's trying to fly around and shoot me with some type of technology there they are i'll show you guys a little bit of a trick we get the freeze blast hit them with that like so and there they go down to their death Oh, crashed. It works so well. I love how fluid the uh, the abilities are in this game. You know, you can be flying past, fire off an ability, and keep hovering. Unfortunately, you can't just free fly, if that makes sense. But there is a sequel to this game, Saints Row 4, called uh, Saints Row Get Out of Hell, which takes you to hell, of course, because shit just keeps getting zanier and zanier. And in that game, you actually get angel wings, which allow you to fly around and whatnot. So, what I'm trying to do is basically raise my notoriety enough that... I can get this Guardian on us because I do want to show you what the uh, Murica gun looks like up against the Guardian in itself. But I think we should have that with maybe like one or two more kills at the least. Let's shoot down this ship. That'll be a good, it's a good start. There we go. Okay, so here's the Guardian showing up now. Most other police in the vicinity will stop spawning or just go away altogether because, they, as you can see, it's assumed he is strong enough to just take on everything plus the fiery rain kind of melts any hope so we're gonna pull out the murica gun here as you can see this beauty is a powerful merciless wreck and once this guy comes down here holy shit all we have to do is shoot him with the ability any sort of ability to get rid of his little bit of a golden shield there and then we'll blast him with this gun and we'll see how long it takes for his health to drop to the minimal amount okay so he's coming down now let's drop him with that here we go. He's frozen. Oh, that was it. That was it. That was literally it. His whole health bar is, is depleted in that one instance because of uh, the amount of the amount of power, sheer ability that that object has. I'm trying to tap this. Come on, we can do it. Stupid quick time events. No one likes quick time events. Ah, oh, come on. It's getting too strong. He's kicking me out. Ah, oh, he got me knocked out. That's all right. He's not too hard. Again, you guys saw. Boom. Boom. That was it. It's ridiculous. I don't understand how this is such a powerful weapon. 
because uh, may, it, it surprises me because they give you this weapon as a pre-order bonus. So you will start off the game with such an OP weapon that you can take down what is apparently supposed to be a guardian. But look at that, dead, no problem. We took him out, no issue. So this is a ridiculous gun. It just fireworks and all, and you have an alternative firing mode, like so. And what that does is fire rockets, as you can see, way off in the distance. It's like fireworks to some extent. It's really cool. I love this gun. It's a really nice weapon. So throughout this whole simulation, you're going to come across a lot of areas in which you will need to clear out because uh, they're explained as viruses or glitches, that kind of stuff that you have to uh, basically take care of. Because again, we're in a simulation, so we're supposed to be explained as like we're a bit of coding ourselves, if that makes sense. Think of me as the antivirus software, if that makes sense. And we're going into the simulation to clear out viruses and uh, put in our own healthy bits of code and all that good stuff as a superhero. So, it's a pretty fun example, but here we are, we're at a flashpoint and we have to take out all of these guys. So we'll go ahead and show you, boom, you got a nice gravity ability here, and then just like that dead. It, it's so ridiculous how amazing these abilities get. This gun in general is, is really just godsend though. Ooh, doesn't sound like she's enjoying that fiery burn though. Now this is a nice gun, it's called the Disintegrator and it really, if you can manage to hit someone with it, as you can see I missed, but hitting them with it will of course, look at that, gone. That's a horrifying way to die, just knowing you're, you're fading off into nothing. So again, they are coding, so I guess it's not that bad, but still, I can only imagine what it feels like to uh, be disintegrated into nothing. Alright, my friends, so right now I'm on my way to uh, basically steal a car, and I know, why would I need a car when I'm a pretty much a superhero? Well, to answer your question, yes, you can still drive cars in this game, and uh, basically, you may be a superhero, but the rest of your crew is not. And uh, as a result, you need to steal cars for both uh, respect reasons and that you can show people you can still do it. Let's go ahead and let's teach these guys a lesson. We'll beat the hell out of them. Can't touch this. Uh, uh. But by stealing this car, we're basically proving that our crew, holy shit, what did I just do? We're basically proving that our crew still has the ability to, uh, to lead even in our own, even when this territory is not our own. You know, does that make sense? This is a really cool vehicle, though. I, I, it's, it's called like a Zor or something, and of course, it is very unique, much unique to the simulation. These do not exist in the real Saints world, as far as I know, but it's still a really cool looking vehicle. So I'm back here at the uh, the, sh the the weapon store, basically, and what I'm gonna do is grab the uh, as a last, you know. There's a lot of things we can do in this game, but I want to know your guys' opinion so far because some people are going to like this game, some people are not, and as a result, I'm going to end this video pretty soon after showing you guys some more of the weapons. And so if you guys enjoyed this video, please feel free to let me know because I will keep playing this game and showing you off more of the crazy and wacky things you can do uh, if you guys are enjoying it, you know, because this is, this for some, again, this game is not going to be good. For others, you guys are going to get a real good kick out of this. So we're going to start with the rectifier probe, and uh, I'll just leave it to the imagination what's going to happen with that. But as you can see, there's a flailing tongue, and uh, it's called a probe, and there's the word rectify it, and is in rectum. So that all being said, let's customize it, give it a nice uh, Saints purple. How about that? And uh, let's see, we have pistols here. We can get alien pistols, we can get a quick shot pistol, a heavy pistol. Now what's interesting is that, by again, by customizing these weapons, you get a whole new style of weapon, but it's still considered a heavy pistol. But, the bullets and things that get fired out can be, you know, completely different, but uh, all around, it's still a heavy pistol, if that makes sense. So, you may want, say, uh, these little old flintlock looking style pistols, because maybe you prefer the, the piratey style firing. But then again, you can also get these uh, big 45 Fletcher style pistols, which are the classic to the Saints. So it's really up to you and how you want to play the game, what kind of style you prefer. Let's try out the Cumia Magnum. We'll go with the uh, wireframe. Why the hell not? 
And we have SMGs here. We can get, uh, I've customized them a little bit before, as you can see, with the gangland style. But you can, of course, get silly things like uh, rubber band guns or the, the cool-looking BG-40. Anyone who's seen our, uh, our last episode will recognize the Let's Pretend area. Now, down here, we have what is called the Warped Weapon, and it, su it seems cool, but honestly, once you have the telekinesis abilities, uh, this basically is not nearly as useful anymore to me, at least in my opinion. All it does is suck things up and allows you to shoot them, but you can do that anyways for the te telekinesis ability. So this is kind of just an early example of a telekinesis ability before you actually get it. But other than that, it's not that great, to be honest. So you have the pump action, the semi-auto, and the thump gun. Let's try the thump gun out. Do we have enough money? Yeah, we do. Let's go ahead and buy that. And we'll get the respect my authority upgrade, which allows extra XP from it. So here we have the bounce rifle. People are probably going to want to see this one, that or the uh, the disintegrator. But of course, you guys have seen the disintegrator already in this episode. And as a result, we're going to go with the bounce rifle because it's a much cooler, uh, a zanier weapon. And what it does is basically allows your bullets to bounce off other opponents. And uh, it just bounces from opponent to opponent. And as a result, it works very, very well in crowded areas. And I guess I'll show you guys the abduction gun as a last uh, example of a weapon. So here we go. We're going to hop on out of the store now. Now, I'll show you guys some of these awesome weapons we got to work with. Alright, my friends, so here we are outside. Let's pretend. You guys will probably recognize this if you remember where we started and ended in the last episode. Or maybe just ended. Yeah, ended in the last episode. But, this is the costume shop, and I mentioned in the last episode that I wanted to come back here to show you an Easter egg in Saints Row 4. Because, of course, it's the same city with just a little bit more of a uh, glitchy uh, superpower style to it. So, that all being said, let's go ahead and demo the weapons we got today. We'll start with the Rectifier Probe. And, uh, personally, this is one of the most visually painful, in my opinion. So we'll go ahead and get this woman over here, and simply enough, come here, lady. Ah, right up the bum. I'm pretty sure this weapon was made illegal in some countries, uh, as in terms it was uh, banned or not allowed to be placed in the game. But as you can see, goodbye. Holy shit! You basically are putting a probe up someone's butt and firing them into the sky. Let's see if we can find one more example. We'll use it on one of our own saints if we can. Oh, I guess not. He's dead. This one will do. Ah! Right up the butthole. Goodbye. And yes, it can be used on males as well. Hello, sir. Oh, is that a woman? I don't know. Who cares? Goodbye. Okay, so. There we go with the rectifier probe. A very painful and comedic weapon. Here we have our magnums. Honestly, they're just reskinned to look cool. They're not really necessarily uh, weapon-wise anything unique, but personally, I like them because they're just—they're very heavy from. gun. You know, they do the trick. Next is our varmint rifle, and of course, we have—we can dual wield them apparently because they're SMGs. And as you can see, it's just basically firing a lot of ghetto ammo from these very ghetto weapons. They're nothing too unique. They're more of a weaponary style to keep you alive rather than being silly, if that makes sense. So next is the bounce rifle. This is a much more uh, useful weapon. You can probably see an example if I can actually hit some opponents with it. Like so. It'll start bouncing between them all. The more I fire. And you'll just see bolts flinging everywhere. Uh, most of them, are to be uh, honest though, seem to be my opponents. But that's alright. We've got them all hovering up in the sky now. They can just sit there and enjoy life. Here's our plunger gun. We'll fire that. It's got a crappy arc, unfortunately, so you really gotta aim, but if you do manage to hit, you kill your enemies with farts, so it's a pretty comedic weapon. Definitely very childish, but it, it, nothing quite can compare to killing your opponent with a plunger gun. Like, I don't really know what else other game I'm gonna be able to say I've done that in, so uh, for your Saints Row to be able to let me do that, thank you, I guess, question mark? And our last weapon to demo today is the abduction gun. We'll go ahead and use it on these guys with the shield. They're a perfect example because I can't get to them. And as a result, there they go. Off into the sky. Never to be seen again. So there we have it, my friends. That is the, uh, the awesome little guns we had to play with today. Uh, as one last little example of something that's going to be interesting to you guys. I'm going to hop into Let's Pretend, though. Real quick, let me go get rid of my Notori by chasing down that golden snitch creature. Alright, my friends, so here we are at the Let's Pretend one last time. I've gotten rid of my notoriety, and we're going to hop on inside. And now, we're not here this time to look at costumes as much as we are to look at an Easter egg. Now, as you can see over here, you saw me pri probably try and get in here if you guys were watching that episode. But now, I believe, with a little bit of help from our pistols, there we go. 
we have blown our way into the employees only area so let's go ahead and hop on down the stairs and I'll show you what the little bit of a silly ridiculousness we have going on down here and here we are as you can see we have a room full of developers this is pretty much as far as I can understand the entire team who worked on this game which is uh, of course a very comedic way to put themselves in and this I would assume is maybe the head developer someone along those lines and he's got a baby version of himself exploding out of his stomach over here we can see we've got a, uh, a little bit of blow up doll and uh, a, a shitty little bathroom but what's very interesting about being down here is this little weapon called the tiny pistol now anyone who has seen uh, it's called the Loud Locust, and I believe this is supposed to be a parody of the Screaming Cricket, which is a gun from Men in Black, and when fired, uh, it has so much power that it just sends you flying, like so. Back on the farm. You can't even see me anymore because I just ricocheted all the way backwards. So there we have it, my friends. And uh, last but not least, let's go ahead and have a little bit of fun here. As you can see, everyone explodes into rainbows. Ah, uh, alright, there we have it, my friends. So that has been Saints Row 4. This is just uh, one example of what I can show you guys. If you guys enjoyed this episode, feel free to let me know because I'll definitely go ahead and play some more because I have a lot of fun with this, this game. And uh, it's a really enjoyable game to me. You know, open world free roam games are just a lot of fun, especially when they're as unique and wild as this one because it, it sends me back to the early GTA days before they got really serious. Don't get me wrong, GTA is an amazing game. But it's got a much more serious hint of gameplay to it, while in this one you can stick a probe up someone's butthole and fire them into the sky. So, it's a very silly and comedic game, and, uh, you know, it doesn't try and take itself too seriously by any means. So, if you guys enjoyed this game today, feel free to let me know down below, as I really do appreciate it. Also, thank you guys all so much for 2,000 subscribers. We recently hit that milestone. Uh, I'm so, so proud to have you guys as a community and people to work with and uh, talk with and just game with. So thank you guys all so much. There'll be a 2,000 subscriber thank you video coming very soon. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video at all, feel free to let me know down below as I very much would appreciate it. Leave me, feel free to leave me a like or a comment down below. And if you enjoy this content in general, feel free to subscribe because I promise you there's plenty more coming. So without any further ado, thank you guys all so, so, so much for joining me for this episode, as well as for allowing me to advance this much uh, subscriber-wise. Thank you guys. I love you guys all so much, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. So without any further ado, thank you guys all so much. I'll see you next time, guys. Stay safe. Stay happy.